Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this and this is my review and thoughts video of Fallout uh, DLC called Dead Money which is uh, a poker name for something, I can't remember now. Uh, but nonetheless it's on Xbox 360 at the moment and it is soon to be on the PlayStation 3 and PC I believe. We don't know when, um, I think it comes out on PC, well, I hope it does. Uh, but on the screen behind me, ignore that, it's just Monopoly. Um, but seriously, this is a really good DLC, um, it's different, it's kind of like, well anyway. You start off uh, the game and uh, just normally in Fallout, so if you beat Fallout, we all know what happens at the end of Fallout. If you haven't beat Fallout New Vegas, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you have to be actually in the game to do it. So if you've beat Fallout, I suggest that you go and start up a new save or a new game, sorry, load an old save or a new game, because you actually need to be in the game to uh, get it. You get a radio signal and uh, you can go from there. Now. It says and it recommends that you're a level 20 or higher. I also recommend this. Don't rush in there because you'll get absolutely slaughtered. The worst thing about it is, though, that when you get uh, transporta transported into the Sierra Madre, which is the map, uh, the new area that you unlock, where the whole DLC takes place, everything you have on you is taken away like that. Don't worry, you can get it back. Um, so. Everything's taken, so don't bother. If you're just starting off again, don't, and you just want to do the DLC, then go for it on level one if you want. You know, do what you want. Um, but you can get it all back, so that's good. But um, you get there, and you're wearing a slaver collar, which is, if you don't know, if you've seen the movie Saw with the shotgun collar, it's kind of like that, except it's like explosive. And um, if you try and escape, then it blows up. There's all these speakers that interfere with the collar, and they make you blow up if, if they keep beeping, beeping, beeping. And uh, essentially you have to break into the Sierra Madre Casino and steal what's inside for this guy that is telling you what to do, otherwise he will blow your collar up. And the catch is, there's three other people that you need to get to help you actually get inside the Sierra Madre, because the casino is up on this hill and you're just in like the village, or the villa as it's called and uh, you need to get them to help you get in. And the problem is that if one of them dies, then you die, and you're all linked, and you've got to do this shit for this old guy. So, it's pretty interesting. Um, there's a lot of history about it, and a lot of reading on terminals and such. Uh, the reason it says stay level 20, uh, be at least level 20, sorry, is because it gets hard. It gets very hard towards the end. Maybe at about 60%. Um, I play on very easy, and this is a discussion I've been in before. Just because you play something on very easy doesn't really detect, detract the fun, the enjoyment, or the um, the experience that you have playing a game. I'm not good at Fallout, so I'm not going to play hardcore. I'm not going to play on very hard like some people. But if you do play on hardcore, be warned there is very, very, very few places to sleep. I found about three. Um, well, towards the end of the game, when you're actually in the casino, there's heaps. But because of this fog that will kill you if you stay in there too long, you have to find a house or a building that's got all the doors shut and all this other kind of stuff, no holes, no nothing, and then you can sleep in there. It's actually very difficult. Um, but it's a really good DLC in terms of bugs and glitches and problems that a lot of people experience with Fallout New Vegas. It froze and locked up for me once, but it still has some of the occasional glitches, like when you bring up your Pip-Boy, half of it will be off the screen and you have to restart to fix that. Um, the game itself has two, which is really good, it has two different endings. Um, one, I'm not going to spoil them, but it, both of them make it so you can't come back, so it, tell, it tells you that anyway. Um, so if you want to have a look around and do that before you leave, and um, there's something else. Yeah, it's got a lot of replayability, but the problem is that before you go, make a save and do not save over it so that way you can reload and play through again. Uh, because there is a lot of stuff to do and a lot of stuff to learn about the Sierra Madre and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, overall, it's a really good downloadable content pack. New area, new weapons, uh, level cap's been raised to 35. Why, I don't know, and you'll find out at the end. Um, uh, new weapons, new characters, new story, a lot of content for your 800 Microsoft points. It's definitely worth a buy if you enjoy Fallout and enjoy Fallout New Vegas. So go out and buy it now. It's got the Kieran double thumbs up of approval. Uh, so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Au revoir.